All right, so here we have a chemist and he wants to make 50 milliliters of a 16% acid solution by mixing a 13% acid solution and an 18% acid solution. So how many milliliters of each solution should the chemist use? Well, let's let X equal 13% acid solution and Y equal the 18% acid solution. Okay, so that's our first step. Now, what does it say? We have a total of 50 mils we're going to make. So that says if we take X plus Y, that's equal to 50. Now, our next equation is, is going to multiply times those percents on each instance. So we're going to take X times the 0.13. So we're going to get 0.13X plus 0.18Y equals and now we have 0 0.16 0 0.16 times 50 okay so now we have our two equations and two unknowns so what do we want to do <clears throat> well i don't know maybe we could substitute and say maybe let's let x equal a negative y plus 50 and all we did here is we subtracted y from both sides and so now we can take that and that whole thing we can substitute in here so 0 0.13 times negative y plus 50 plus 0 0.18y equals, and now we have 0 0.16 times 50, so that's 0, that's 30, that's 80, and so that's going to give us an 8, it looks like. Okay. And here, now we have to distribute here, and so now we're going to take 0 0.13 times 50 as well, it looks like. And so now we have 0, that's 15, that's going to be a 6, moved over to 6.5. So we have a negative 0.13y plus 6.5 plus 0.18y equals 8. Now we have a like term here and a like term here, so let's get rid of this 6.5. And so that becomes that as 10. And so if we add that all together. Uh, so that's a 5, that's a 1, and that's equal to, and here we have 0.18 minus that, so it'll be positive 0 0.05. Y. Divide by 0 0.5. And we get Y is equal to, now I have to move it over 1, 2, so we move this over 1, 2, and so 5 goes into 150, 3, zero times. Okay, so that's going to be 15, subtract, that's zero, bring down a zero, that's zero. So y is equal to 30 um, milliliters of 18% acid. Okay, well x, that's going to be pretty easy. If we have 30, 50 minus 30 is going to be 20, so it's going to be 20 milliliters of the 13% acid. Okay, so that should be our answer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check. Well, does x plus y equal 50? Well, 30 plus 20 is 50 milliliters, so that checks. Now we have to multiply this out. Okay, so we have to take 0 0.13 times x, which was the 20. So 0, 6, 2, move it over 2, so that's 2.6 mils. And then we take the 0.18 times 30. That's zero, that's 24. That's gonna be a 54, move it over two, that's 5.4 mils. And so that's gonna be a zero, and that's 8.0 oh, 8 mls, which is what that times that was we found earlier. And so both of those solutions do work. And so it's 20 mils of 13% and 30 mils of 18%. All right. Now we have another chemistry type problem. How many grams of pure water must be added to 50 grams of pure acid to make a solution that is 40% acid? All right, so we have to figure out how many grams of pure water, so we need X here. It must be added to 50 grams of pure acid to make a solution, which we don't know, so let's call that Y, that is 40 mils, or 40% acid. So, x equals grams of 
pure H2O, Y equals grams of 40% acid, okay? Now, what are our equations going to be? Well, we know that if we take this pure water plus this pure acid, that's going to equal this solution. So that means if we take X plus 50, that's going to be equal to Y. Now we have to take that times our actual values, okay? So now we have to think about this all in terms of acid. So this is 40% acid. Uh, pure acid, well, that's going to be 100%. And how much acid is going to be pure water? That's going to be 0%. So pure water is 0% acid. So that's kind of a thing we have to think about there. That's the 40%. That's 100%. So now we're going to take each of those percents, convert them to decimal, and multiply it by what we have here. So we're going to take x, which was 0%. So 0 times x plus. And now the 50 milligrams, that's 100%. So it's 1 times 50 equals. And now it's 0 0.4 times. And that's y. Well, 0 times anything is 0, so that's gone. So we have 50 equals 0.4y divided by 0.4. And so that means we're going to have to move the decimal one here and one here. So 4 goes into uh, 500, 1. And that's going to be a 4. Subtract that. That's a 1. Bring down a 0. That's going to go in 2. That's 8. Subtract that. That's a 2, 0 after we bring down that 0. And that's going to be a 5. And that'll give us 0 there. So y is equal to 125 grams. Okay. So that's what we just found there. It's 125 grams of solution. And now we need to find a number of grams of pure water. So if we take x plus 50 equals 125, subtract a 50, x is equal to, and that's a 5, and that's 75 grams. And that's of uh, pure water, and that's of 40% acid. So that's one value. That's my second value. Now. Let's see if it actually adds up and works. All right, so does x, which is 75 plus 50, well, it's going to be 125, equal 125? Yep, first equation works. Now does 0 times x, which is uh, 75, plus uh, 1 times 50 equal 0. 0.4 times the 125? Well, 0. 0.4 times 125. So that's 20, that's 8, 9, 10, that's 5, move it over 1, 50. Yep, 50 equals 50, so those are the correct values, okay? All right, let's pause there and we'll come back for more.